On today's episode of Watch Jargo, we are here with another Audi, and today it's gonna look really cool. Yes, I didn't break it. <laughs> didn't break it. What is going on, guys? I am Watch Jargo, and today I'm here with my buddy Jared and Mike and Jared's Audi A7. Of course, you guys remember, I had that Audi A6. This has the same drivetrain in it, the 3OT, except it's a hatchback. It's like a, a very strange, good looking long hatchback. Wait, what breaks if you don't pull them off right now? So, the centering ring here really? does not sit flush with the hub. Oh, so all the weight of the wheel drops. drops on it and then oh. it won't properly center and you get vibration. I see. So that's what these are for. Full like on that. guides and everything. Yeah, so it keeps the wheel from dropping and breaking. The Wait, screen. and then you have a second concentric ring that has to sit on top of that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that goes. I see, I see. Like that to center on the wheel. All right. Complicated. Well, very, yeah. Not crazy though. These, it's got niche wheels on it. They look great. Wrapped in, oh yeah, PS4s, great tire. Anyway, Jared has been making this thing rock for a long time. Lights are art in these things. Swoops of light. This doesn't have a uh, power spoiler there, does it? This it does. It does? Yeah, it pops up automatically. Oh, so you've got spoiler on spoiler. Yep. Spoiler on spoiler crime right there. Yep. So what all's done to this thing? APR, tune? Uh, the tune, the front grill, the black optics front grill. Okay. Um, the JBL 10 inch subwoofer. Okay. Um, painted a few miscellaneous parts. The wheels, tires. Sure. Um, I've got a whole long list, not to pull it up. <laughs> I've done a lot. That's awesome. I love this brake light. The brake light running all the way along the back of the window is super cool. I've always liked the A7, man. It's more imposing than the A6S6, that's for sure. Oh, the nav pops up on this bad boy. Beautiful yeah. interior color. Super sick. Polish the headlights. So, oh, oh the yeah, it's not a black optic package car, is it? Ah. It's got chrome trim over there. Yeah. Okay, so you did the grill. Looks really cool. Parking sensors and everything. Yeah, I replaced one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Audi things. Parking sensor error. So Jared is pulling the wheels off here today to paint these things with the G2 caliper paint kit, which I have bought before and I've never used. So what color did you get? Red. You got red? Race car red. I've got the pink one at home. We were gonna use it on something, like an S2000. So even though I bought this, I've never actually used it. Everyone says it is the best caliper paint in the world. And it's one of the ones you can do without pulling the brakes all the way off the car, because you get to use brushes. So I guess we're gonna take some brake clean and some brushes, clean up these really nice looking Audi brake calipers, and paint them red, which will add a lot of detail to this car, actually. The cool thing about this kit is when you order your Audi with red brakes, what do they charge? It's usually, I, I think, 500 at least to paint the calipers. It's an Audi, so probably. Yeah, yeah. and if you buy this kit, the kit is, I think it's 100. It was like 60 or 60. Yeah, on, on Amazon. All right, so by doing this, you're saving yourselves tons of money painting your calipers at home, and it really doesn't take that long at all. Um, obviously, you can order painted calipers on every performance car now. It's a big deal. Everyone realizes how important it is to paint the calipers because it completely changes the look of the car, especially when you've got huge wheels with big open spokes. Brakes start to look pretty important. Whoa, this pattern on your brake rotor is crazy. That is because they were recently turned. Okay, okay. At Johnny's shop. Gotcha. I had some vibration ah. for braking. Yeah. So my dad and I pulled them off, put new pads on, and turned them. Huh. Well, and I, I just don't have that many miles on the car. Car ninja to the rescue. Yeah. That looks wild. Brand new upper control arms. Oh yeah. Why do the lowers look new too? They're all new. Everything's new? <laughs> yeah. It's all for, brand new. So I forgot about that. That's the 034 Motorsports kit. Oh, okay. 034. 034. 034. Yeah. Yeah. So they're slightly stiffer than stock. Okay. Looks awesome. So Jared is over here scrubbing these things up with a toothbrush and some brake clean, and they are obviously cleaning up to look like they're brand new. So it's not even taking very long. A couple, couple minutes per caliper. Yeah. Oh man, look at the dirt. This one over here, ready to go. Taped up. 
get wild with the paint once you tape it up. You have to stir it for five straight minutes. And it's a, what? It's at eight parts paint to one part reactor. So you have like a clear coat reactive agent there you have to put in. And then you just start brushing on this paint. So I like that color. Oh yeah, that's a nice bright red. Fire red right there. Sweet. And how many, uh, 15 minutes between coats? Yep, 15 minutes. So just keep going around your car. Everything's clean. Here's the reactive agent. Brake caliper paint system, reactor. Everything's taped up so you can just get after it with the paint. Probably. Calipers look brand new. If you guys want your calipers painted, everyone says this is the best thing other than powder coating. And I know a lot of people like to get in their feels about powder coat and talk about how heat stressing the brakes and the powder coating oven could cause them to fail prematurely and stuff like that. So, you know, if you don't want to risk that, even though I know uh, tons of people with powder coated brakes, I think it's the best way. Obviously, to powder coat your brakes, you gotta pull the caliper, drain it down, rip the actual cylinders out of the thing, take all the seals out of it. You have to tear everything down and you have to tape out the cylinders to make sure you don't get any powder in there because you can't change those tolerances. Powder coating your brakes is a big, big, big deal. Honestly, something that you probably want to leave to the professionals, which means your car is going to be down for a week or two weeks as you overnight your brakes to somebody and let them tear them down and powder coat them. This, as you can see, is 60 something dollars and you can get it done yourself very, very quickly. So I've always thought this is probably the best option and it's a lot better than the spray paint. I can tell you that this will actually last. You can clean it in a car wash. It will outlast that spray paint by a, a long time. So this is definitely not a paid ad. I've just done the research and I think this is the move. So I'm glad you showed up with this kit. I think this yeah. kit is the move. Hopefully I made the right choice. Yeah, I think you did. According to everyone on the internet, you did make the only choice. Well, I trust them, so. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <That's not. laughs> Ooh, look at that. That is incredible. I told Jared it's probably the same kit the factory uses and they're just upcharging for some guy to stand in the factory and paint these. After two coats with the G2, take a look at that. Those look amazing. And out here in the front, those gigantic calipers, that makes a statement. Those calipers are obviously gigantic as well. And these rotors are 13 inches. Going inside some 20s, I think. Are these 20s? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, 265, 35, 20. So that's gonna be absolutely amazing looking. Let's hop around to the other side. Look at that, there was an extension cord on the left. Sweet. So now, how long are you supposed to let it wait? Two hours before you put wheels on. Two hours before the wheels and 24 hours before it's ready, ready? Yeah. So obviously no one's waiting 24 hours. We are headed to go get some food and then we will come back and see what this looks like with those amazing wheels. Jared did say while he was painting it, it was becoming tacky in the can. Like this paint becomes tacky very quickly. So you really only have enough time to do two coats before you're starting to run out of, uh, you know, brush flexibility and all that. So you will probably want to hurry if you're doing this job, knock out each side and just keep right on going around the car. Looks sweet. A few minutes later. The wheels are going back on, getting torqued down. Look at those brake calipers. Woo! You're gonna see those brakes from like hundreds of feet away. Well, we're gonna get this thing out on the road and see what it looks like. You guys, let me know your opinions in the comments below. Do you think it's worth it to paint your calipers? And if you do, I just recommend you use this G2 stuff because it has the best reviews I've ever seen. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watchchairgo.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I'll talk to you next time. So these covers are really cool. 
these cover up the lift points on the Audi and they just pop up underneath into the rockers. So well done. It's super easy to lift this car. They really thought through everything. So I guess the ones that look more beat up are the fronts, right? Yeah, I think so. Cool. All right, these are the rears. Let's get to it. Snap all these things back in. Pretty cool. Nice and flush once the cover goes on. Just go ahead and start your turn right there. 